All right, I'm not sure how well this is gonna go, but whatever. Um, probably should have made a video in my room where I could have notes so I could keep on track. But you know, um, several things to try to cover here. In my, in the comment section, one person had asked, what is it that makes me consider a belief or an ideology like a religion? And for me, it's, it's all about, it's all about being dogmatic. It's all about pushing this notion that you're a terrible person unless you believe this way, right? That's what that's about for me. Um, and intersectionality does that like crazy, you know? does it to extremes. So, now, it was also brought to my attention, you know, why call the intersectional thing, why even slightly reference it as, watching out for some horse shit on the ground, um, why reference it as being Marxist? Well, I don't think I will anymore. Um, because Marxism is about class struggle, and these intersectionalists and a number of other people have tried turning demographics into classes, and it's, it's not correct, it's not... That doesn't mean that I'm going to support Marxism in what Marxism is on paper, you know, but to call this intersectionality and some of these ideas that are floating around within feminism and a number of other ideologies, to call it those things Marxism just wouldn't be correct, so. But I'm still going to speak against them nevertheless, so. Um... Now, with all the stuff that's been going on, where there's been rioting, destruction, people making ridiculous demands, people calling to defund the police, whether or not they're saying they want to actually abolish the police or whether they just want to take away some funding from the police, to uh, be put into community programs instead, you know, I still, I'm still not for that. Uh, reducing the amount of funding to the police is just going to make it do a poorer job. I mean, sure, we could slightly demilitarize the police, sure, but, uh, And we could work to improve police training, and uh, you know, there's room for improvements, but the stuff that's being floated around, no. But you know, there's all this intersectional stuff floating around. There's that's that's made its way into universities and HR departments and mainstream media. There's the, the rioting. And you could say, well, with all of that, how could you still vote blue? 
Well, as I said in my last video, the environment is a pretty important issue. Um, I do think LGBT rights are important issues. Um, women's rights are important issues. Um, Health care is an extremely important issue. Republicans want things to be like they were. Republicans don't seem to care about ha everyone having access. You know, it's... Republicans seem to have this uh, survival of the fittest mindset when it comes to that. They seem to have that kind of mindset with a lot of things. So... Yeah, I, I, our society should not be a survival of the fittest type of thing. You know? But one of the final things that made me decide on supporting Democrats was after seeing so many right-wingers bitch and whine on places like Fox News, a number of other places, about having to wear masks. Oh no, the horror having to wear masks when you go somewhere in public where there's potentially a lot of people. People seem more upset over the idea of having to wear a mask than businesses being forced to close. Now I understand people being upset over businesses being forced to close. You know, I can I can sympathize with that. Our economy is going to take a long time to recover from this. But to whine about masks? What kind of stupid petty shit is that? You know? Some of the comments that I got on that, too, on that video talking about masks. Ah, uh, this leads to an exit, so... All right. Um, yeah, some of the comments I got on that video and some of the discussions... Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not siding with that side. No. <laughs> And as I even said in the video, some of these same people are the ones who try to say that uh, the mass shootings are a hoax. Oh, crisis actors. Wouldn't put it past some of these people to try to... to tell me that evolution is a lie and, uh, oh, flat earth theory, and all of that sh stupid shit. Anti-science garbage. Now, this is not to say that the left doesn't have its own anti-science stuff. The left has a lot of, uh, anti-statistics kind of mindsets. Um, anti-biology kind of mindsets. You know, their, their own set of... Uh, oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. Well, no, I guess it kind of does, but... All right, let's try this. You know, it's kind of turned into an anti-hard science mindset. 
and that's pretty hard to support. But these are hard choices right now. <clears throat> Republicans for a long time and it's still their patterns are to try to combine church and state. You know? They want to insert the religion into the government. Yeah, I... What's the trade-off? Traditionalism, uh, not caring about the environment, not caring about LGBT rights, not caring about women's rights, not caring about health care, or the side that uh, doesn't seem to want to do anything about the riots, doesn't want to call out cancel culture, doesn't want to do very much about the rioting. As I said in my last walking video, this intersectionality is going to creep its way into the general discourse no matter what. We're going to actually have to, to experience how awful it is in order to finally speak up against it. And that's sad. And I hope it doesn't destroy this country in the process. I certainly hope that the anti-capitalism side doesn't become more popular. But, uh... I can't throw away the values that I still have that are liberal. I just, I just can't throw those things away. I can't. You know, I believe in universal health care. I believe in ending prisons for profit. I believe in free or reduced tuition colleges. Before and, and I always have to say this every time. Yes, I understand it's not actually free. It's paid for by taxes. Yes So don't go into me for that. I think it's pathetic that I have to say that every time but I believe in protecting the environment. I believe in reducing pollution. I believe in many heavy regulations on businesses to make them do the right thing. Republicans are against all those things. How can I support a party that goes against some of my very basic values? So yeah, it's a hard choice. It's a choice we shouldn't have to be making. You know, we're, we're stuck between diarrhea and a shit sandwich, you know? But that's what we're stuck with, so what are you going to do, right? <laughs>